day. We try to hold this webinar to educate in spirit, in you know, in, for inspiration, motivational, and uh, so on. Some we go through some stuff that will help you build your business. That's why we're here. And um, before we get started, just a couple of reminders, and that is, you know, we're working in an industry that are had been taking us that, I mean, if we just go back a couple of years, we couldn't even imagine the technology, uh, what could happen and what we're doing right now is going so fast. And that's why it's even more important to implement the old principles of building business, but not only building uh, online network marketing business, building with principles that will sustain and make your business long-term because it's about relationships. It's about, you know, it's not a get rich, get rich quick scheme, you know, you're in and out. Well, some people like it that way. It, it's not my opinion to judge anyone. I'm just telling you that long-term is the essence. Uh, and what we're building here with products that will be coming up and, you know, long-term. So you should really know that if you're in this industry, if you're in this business, you got to think long term. And that's why we have these webinars. So everyone can, you know, uh, adopt, adopt and, and make these principle works. And many people don't even know what a principle is. And they heard the name, they heard the word, but they don't know. And that's why we stress the personal development as number one. And why is it number one? Well, there's several reasons for that. And I, I not only like words, I love words because words has a meaning. It didn't have that meaning for me 30 years ago before I started my journey. Uh, and um, I ended up in a, in a personal crisis and I learned the hard way that even crisis it's a positive word. It means something new, an opportunity, something new, a new door that opens up. And for me, it really was a new door that would open up. And uh, I started working with my mentor and he said, we practically have to change everything on you. And if you just do what I tell you, everything will be all right. So, and I said, aye, aye, sir, I'm here. I'm ready to do whatever you tell me to. So my journey started and uh, I never heard the word personal development, but if you look at the word, these two words, per, it's personal. That means it's my development. It, it's your development. It's not someone else. The thing is when you develop yourself, then you can give away what you have, but you can't give away what you don't have. So that's why you need to start work with you. And there's no shortcuts. I'm telling you, in life, in this universe, maybe there's some other rules in other universes. I don't know. But in this universe, there are rules. And those rules are everything starts with you. Everything starts with me. So personal development, why is it so important? And why, what is personal development? Well, it's personal and it's development. So that means that I do something every day that make me better than I was yesterday. That's personal development. So if I just read something that I didn't read yesterday, I developed something because it's, you know, it, we talk a lot about the mindset. We talk a lot about, you know, your life will always move in the direction of the most dominant pictures in your mind. Never forget it. So personal development is, is, is my development, it's your development. You start to develop yourself. And why it's so important is because people think that money can buy, money can buy a lot of things. I, I'm not, you know, telling it's negative. No, 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 no. It's super positive. 
But money can buy a house, but it can't buy a home. A home is where your family lives and the principles, what you do in your home with your kids and your family, that's a home. You can't buy a home that you have to develop. Money can buy a lot of things, but there's a lot of things that money can't buy. That's where personal development comes in the picture. Because the stuff that you learn here on the Sunday school, I will, I'm telling you, if you practice these principles in all your affairs, your life will become better. Doesn't matter what situation you're in. Doesn't matter if you're poor or super rich, it will change your life. And most people that we come in contact with, they never develop anything. And because, you know, if you look at society, society doesn't prepare us for success. School doesn't prepare us for success. It, sometimes the total opposite. It prepares us for failure. And so we come into this business and learn, wow, you know, I can do anything. I can, I can uh, you know, uh, accomplish stuff. I can learn stuff and I can become. Because it's when you're becoming, you remember we had that uh, some, I don't know, can't remember if it was last time or a couple of Sundays ago. You got to be before you can do. That means we're human beings. We're not human doings. We're not who we, you know, we're not our work. We're not our title. We're not, you know, so we are human beings. That means we've got to be before we can do. That's why we have personal development so we can be so we can do so we can have in that order and you know you know people they they buy into that you know that saying that you know the lie that free stuff is good no never ever one of the first sentence my mentor he just you know hammered in me he said you can't get something for nothing there's no such thing you will always have to pay a price. Either you pay it before or you pay it after. So that's why we stress the personal development because uh, most people don't realize before they get into some business, you know, now you're in this business. And some people are not prepared. You know, personal development is, is preparation. Preparation. You remember I had a short video I sent out. If you didn't get it, ask your... Upline sponsor, I want to have that Peter Jacobson video where I talk, you know, a minute about preparation and preparation prepare you for success. So personal development, step by step, we develop ourselves, we develop our character because character is what it's all about. Character is when you're the same person, when someone see you, and someone not see you, that's character. So when you build your character, you're the same person always, and that will create results. And that takes time. You can't do that in 10 minutes. It takes time. That's why you need to get started right away. And since we're in a business where we, we wanna help people and we're working with duplication, you need to help your people get these principles. And if you do not super, uh, uh, you haven't got the, the personal development, everything in your mind yet, or you don't know, really know how to do it. That's why we have these Sunday School webinars. That's why all the leaders have other trainings where you can go on and learn because everything is about learning. And so most people don't realize that problems is part of the process. You know, that's a, that's a thing you learn in personal development, that problems is part of the process. So why do people quit because they get you know they go into fear and uh, fear leads to the dark side you know like in in star wars so they go into fear because they they don't realize that problem is part of the process anyway so mindset oops I went too far here. Mindset. Where is it? There it is. 
Mindset. Okay. You create a mindset where your mind is set up on things. So this is how it works. We have a brain. We have two consciousness. We have a subconscious and we have a conscious mind. And the conscious mind is where we read, you know, the, the day we're in. We have senses, we smell, we hear, we see, we read, and we, we kind of like, you know, in the Terminator, you know, we, we scan of our day, you know, and it goes into our mind, conscious mind, and then if we repeat or we have emotional involvement, it goes into our subconscious mind. And our subconscious mind is where it happens. That's why we, you know, most people who are, know what they, you know, uh, you know, they teach because they've done something, they have empiric knowledge. There's so much people out there, you know, I have thousands and thousands and thousands of books. I don't know, I have maybe 10,000 books. I've read everything that's in personal development, almost every, all the good stuff anyway. But I have also maybe 80% of the stuff that I bought because I, you know, this book maybe it's good. Okay, I buy it and I read it. And it's and I turn out to be no good because the author was a guy that read a personal development book and he made up his mind to write a personal development book about the book he read. So he didn't have any empiric knowledge. Empiric knowledge means you've been in the field. That's why you never take advice for someone who can't take you to the next level. What does it mean? It means that leadership is about, about doing, about leading people, be out in the field, doing it. And we have so many great leaders in this company. They're out there every day fighting for you, doing it, you know, and helping people. And, you know, to me, helping people is, is uh, have a loving, caring character. That means love should not be uh, mixed up with romance. Love is something totally different. Love is to, for instance, to say the things that people need to hear, not the things they want to hear. They want to hear, oh, I need everything free. I don't want to work. You know, Most people are lazy. Why? They are trained that way by society. The mindset they have is free stuff. And I'm telling you, if you earn a million dollars in any business and you don't have a millionaire mindset, you will lose it. Easy as that. Ask Ant Anthony Robbins. He was one of the youngest uh, entrepreneurs, millionaires in the U.S. He was even in one of the you know big talk shows uh, all over the place, and he lost everything. And he tells the story why he lost it. You know why he lost it? Because... He didn't change his mindset. He only made a lot of money. He knew how to do that, but he didn't change his core belief system. Because the core belief system is where it happens. You have a core belief system. Write that down. If you don't have a piece of pen and paper when you're on these webinars, forget it. There's no way you can... You can uh, take this information in if you don't take notes and you hear me you hear me saying that every time so no excuses no excuses you know you can't be in a car by your phone and listening well of course it's good that you listen but you got to take notes anyway so this is how it works we'll go back personal development it's personal and it's development this means it's not backwards it's forward you develop you 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 start to develop yourself you, you are better than you were yesterday you create a mindset where the mind is set up on certain things. It's in your core belief system. And then you have a thought, you, that thought would create a feeling. You know, we went through this and this is, this is magic because people don't realize how it works. It's, there's always a thought before the feeling. Some people, they think, you know, they say, oh, I don't feel like it. Well, then you have been thinking the wrong thoughts. If you don't feel like it or you you say, well, you know, I don't know, I'm, I'm a little uncertain, you know, because all the feelings people have, they create in themselves. Well, someone can, of course, come and say and do stuff, but you are the judge in your own mind. You can make up your mind. You can change your thoughts. You know, that's the biggest uh, I think one of the biggest, uh, William James, he says, one of the biggest um, um, 
inventions or you know um, things that 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 happen on planet Earth was the discovery that people can change their lives by changing their attitudes. Wow, what a statement! People can change their lives by changing their attitudes. That's why I also stress when when I when I do network marketing or I do business or uh, doesn't matter if it's online marketing doesn't matter the principles you're looking for people who want to change their lives who are willing to start to change because they're not if they're not willing to change there will be no change there will be no money there will be no business so there's always a thought before the feeling and after the feeling you can you can you can clearly see that Feelings create actions. You know, if you if you're fired up, you know, like wow, you know, I'm going for it. You know, this is doable. You have hope. You have all that stuff that will create one action. If you have a bad feelings, like no, there's no you. I I can't do that. You know, poor me, poor me. You know, I. You know, listen. Wherever you come from, wherever who you are, doesn't matter. You can change your life just by listening to one of, of these webinars can be a life turning moment. And it is for most people. So thought, feeling, action, or no action creates results. That means that no action is also a result. And it comes from what? What people think. It comes from the thinking. So that's why I always said, you know, you got to, if you want to change something, you got to change the way you think. Then how do you do that? By listening and reading. There's no other way. When you're listening and reading, you get stuff in the computer called the brain. When the stuff gets in the computer, you put it in there in your subconscious mind by repeating or an emotional involvement. Okay. Let's go ahead here. See what we have. So words, because words has a meaning and words cannot return void. Write that down. That's why it's so important to speak out what you want, not what you don't want. Grateful versus fearful. So if you look at the word grateful, if I if I discipline myself and think of the good stuff and think of the things I have instead of the things I don't have, it will turn into gratefulness, which means that I'm full of great, grateful. But if you think the opposite, you think of the stuff you, you don't have or that you're lacking, fear comes in your mind. You are creating that and you're full of fear. So grateful versus fearful. There's many examples. If you start thinking hopeful thoughts, you 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 know that I can do this, I can do this. You know that you know whoever say I can do this and I can't do this, they they both right. They both right because it's what you say to yourself that will happen. So you have someone, you work with someone. I know this is for some people. This is. Uh, oh, I heard this stuff before. Yeah, good. Then you hear it again because repetition is the mother of skill. So don't let your ego come in your way. Because when you work with someone that you have, you know, in your upline, the people who involved you, the leaders, they give you hope, you know. And sometimes we have to create hope ourselves. And how do we create hope? Well, I knew if I learned these principles, I will always carry around hope because it doesn't matter. Listen, I'm powerless over people, places, and things. You know what I'm not powerless over? My thinking. So look at hopeful. It's full of hope versus hopeless. No hope. Or Faithful, full of faith, unfaithful, not good, or cheerful, 
full of chair. Where does it come from? It comes from our thinking. It's nothing that someone else is putting there. Well, it, right now, you're hearing something, and then you make up your mind, okay? But, you know, there is a commandment, or a commandment, it's just a suggestion, I would say, you know, be fruitful and multiply. Fruitful doesn't mean anything else than being productive. Wow. Be fruitful and multiply. Be productive and multiply. Wow, there's some good stuff. And so on. So, words has a meaning. When you have that mindset that you created together with other people, yes, yes, but you let them. Then you, every day, you're in an opportunity of choosing. Should I go this way or should I go the other way? You can choose every day your choices. You know that people making choices every day that take them either further from the truth or closer to the truth or further away from the opportunity and their success or closer to the success. They make the choices. That's why it's so important to have someone that can help you, that can guide you, that can kick you in your behind and tell you, come on, let's go now, because they have the, the experience. And people are making choices. You know, some people that made the choice not to be on this webinar, you know what they're missing out? Yeah, all the good stuff that has happened in these uh, 25 minutes. It's unbelievable. People make stupid choices. No, oh, I'm going to go eat ice cream. Oh, I'm going to, you know, I have to, you know, I, listen, I got to, I got to tell you this, you know, the system that we have, uh, if you don't have a system, ask the one that you're working with, what's our system? The system in this company is we have a first look, we have a second look, we have webinar and trainings, and then we have events. That's our system. So you can't do a presentation at two o'clock Sunday afternoon, Central European time, because that's eh, wrong. Because those are the Sunday school webinars. Those are in the system, third in the system. So you don't, you don't have a Sunday school webinar the same day as an event. Stupid as that. And you don't have a presentation while there's a Sunday school webinar or something else. So, so people have bad excuses. They got to learn the system, what's the prioritize. They have to prioritize. They have to make priorities. You pr when you priority is information that can change the way you think or making a presentation, which is, which is best. I may make it up to you. You can make up your mind. What do you think? I know the answer. Anyway, so mindset is the all the sum, all this the 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 sum of all your thoughts up until today. It's where you have your mind set upon. There's no other way. There's no other way. So you make choices every day. You see, you come back to this thought. You make a choice. What you think. What you should think about stuff. If you go like, oh, I don't believe. Okay. <laughs> of course, that will, cre will create hopelessness, not hope or whatever. So you, you make up your choice, what you're going to think creates a feeling, creates an action or no action, which will create a result. So... Uh, yeah, there's words again. Oh, uh, sorry. So, listen, guys. Make you have your dreams. You know, you know, you turn your dreams into goals, not wishful thinking. Most, if I go out in in town today and I ask people, do you want to have more? Do you want to live in a better house? Do you want to have a nicer car? Do you want to have more cash? And they will go, yeah. But they're not willing. Most of them, nine out of ten, are not willing to pay the price. So there's no. There's no new roots. There's no new principles in universe. <laughs> the principles were here before you were here. Those are old. You just plug in and get the principles of success. And one principle 
in success is to promote the stuff you, you're working with yourself. So you know that are coming, there are, there are products uh, just lined up in the pipe and will be blowing up this business. I know some of them should have been here, you know, quite a while ago and it hasn't and blah, 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 blah. Doesn't matter, does not matter because now they're lined up. Now there are products coming and we have a product already out there, which is called Crowd One Magazine. And if you don't promote it, if you don't sell it, if you don't make people buy it in your team, that's, that will not create success. Success is to have people, what, number one, I can make, I, make, I can make a list of a hundred of, of things that will make your business blow up just by using this magazine. But I, I, I won't go through it right now, but you know, listen, there's so there's good stuff to read. There's some teachings in there. I do a training in a chapter in that magazine. You can read about Johan von Holstein and his, his um, uh, light in the tunnel, what's gonna happen. You know, there are some, some uh, other articles, good article, good stuff. And how can you change your mind? By well, listening and reading. And if you have everyone, do you think a magazine like this will create hope or hopelessness? It's up to you. I think it will create hope. I think it will be an, an awesome tool for everyone to have. But you got to promote it. You got to tell them. You are the leader. You got to buy this. You got to go out and because now when products are coming up, you know, we're plugging the system, the next product, the next product, the next product, you are the promoter. And if you don't have the habit of promoting stuff, nothing will happen. So start training yourself by promoting the magazine and it will be awesome. I promised um, something that will happen later, uh, last webinar. So we, we will have a competition where we will we'll see who is selling the most magazines in their team. But uh, we'll wait until uh, the um, recognition event is coming. Now. Okay, guys, I hope you got it. You know, uh, and for me, it was super good. You know, every time I talk and train or teach, you know, I'm training myself. You know, going the extra mile is a, is a worthwhile principle. That's what the next subject on next Sunday school webinar, going the extra mile. And you're welcome to attend and bring your team on board. It's, this is where it happens. I'm telling you, this is.